Now, your Storm Team 2 forecast with meteorologist Tara Hastings. Well, keep the umbrella nearby if you are going to be out and about this evening. Temperatures staying into the 50s with a chance for some rain. We'll get a little bit of a break here around 11 o'clock. And then more will pick up here for the morning commute tomorrow. Showers, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder will be possible. Scattered showers, uh, not out of the question here by lunchtime. But later in the afternoon, we'll see temperatures falling into the lower 50s with some sunny skies just before the day ends. So rain and a few rumbles of thunder possible heading into Tuesday morning. But dry conditions on Wednesday, but it's going to be very windy. We're going to see gusty winds tonight heading into tomorrow morning and into Wednesday. We're going to see mostly sunny skies. It'll be dry, but the winds out of the west sustained at 20 to 30 miles per hour could see some of those higher gusts. So be aware of that over the next few days. Temperatures then drop as we go into the end of the week and heading into the weekend. Let's show you live Doppler 2 HD north of I-70 is where right now we're seeing some of the heaviest rain moving into Logan County around Bell Fountain over towards I-75, Anna over towards Sydney, seeing some light rain showers, and then some more rain beginning to develop here in southern sections of Preble County, right along 127. So this rain will continue through the next several hours, may get a break here or there, but then more rain is expected during the overnight hours. Right now, officially at Dayton International Airport, we're sitting at about 54 degrees. Winds are out of the south currently at 14 miles per hour. Area weather checkers, it's 52 degrees right now in Springfield, 54 in Xenia. 53 degrees right now for Scott and Bradford, and 53 for Jason in Brookville. Our future track forecast model through the night tonight again shows that rain, but stopping the clock here at 10 may get a little bit of a break here before another round of rain moves in late tonight into early tomorrow morning. This is the picture at 8 o'clock. If you have any uh, commute, pro it, you will see uh, some heavy rain heading into the commute. You'll need the windshield wipers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder. But by lunchtime, just a few scattered showers will be possible. And watch what happens later in the afternoon. The sky's clear, or continue to see clear skies late Tuesday into Wednesday. But even though we're going to be dry for Wednesday, that's when the winds really begin to ramp up. So tonight, your forecast temperatures will stay fairly steady into the 50s. Cloudy, breezy, with rain likely. And tomorrow, that morning rain with a few rumbles of thunder, temperatures near 58, then falling into the lower 50s once we see. See the sunshine into the afternoon with breezy winds out of the south and switching over to the west. In your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast, 55 degrees on Wednesday, 57 on Thursday with dry conditions. On Friday, a few morning showers will be possible, 47. And this has been making the rounds here on social media. Yes, there is a possibility we could see some snow on Saturday. But I want to point out that yesterday and over the weekend when I was looking at the computer models, it looked like we were going to see rain and really warm temperatures. So we're seeing that flip here. So this is something that you want to stay tuned to the forecast. Mm -hmm. Don't let this be the last forecast you see. Yes, we could see winter returning on Saturday. We, of course, will keep you updated. Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're a long way from long Saturday. Long way away, yes. Yeah. All right.